Hey, kid. Hey, you gonna pay for that or what? Come on, man. It's just a magazine. Some guy left it here. Oh, little guy, buddy. Here, you want to help with this? All right, I got it. I'll be right back. All right, let's run this down. Male, Caucasian, mid-30s, tall, maybe 6364, skinny, black hair, dark clothes, had a 38. What do you get? You got all my cash is what he got. I told you, I was closing up, and this banana head comes in waving a gun like a salami. Are you guys going to catch him or what? We're going to try, sir. Uh, try. Try ain't putting any food on the table. All right, just tell me, you got any distinguishing marks, any scars, any accents? Yeah, garlic bread. Garlic bread. Huh. Hey, you guys think I'm going to spend some time in the hospital? Maybe overnight, sir. Ah, that thing is... I, I hate hospital food. We'll pray for a speedy recovery. Yeah, last time I was in the hospital, I lost 20 pounds. Yeah, you should have kept it off. All right, ready now. One, two... Three! Uh, oh! There we go. We got a good case to make here, Kennedy. All we got to do is run up all the tall, skinny guys in downtown Los Angeles, give them a breathalyzer test and modify for garlic. We got him, baby. What are you looking at? Ricky Priester. I don't see anybody. 11-year-old kid with three bullets and a teenager at a rock house. Ricky Priester, that's right. It's a hard case. You involved with his mother, weren't you? Ah, uh, just, you know, a terrific lady. She's a waitress. She had a master's degree in English lit. I'm impressed. What about her husband? He split when Ricky was six. The kid broke her heart. What is he doing out here, anyway? Well, listen, Kennedy, I'm duly choked up, but as you know, we do not handle curfew violations. Arno, he was put in jail for attempted murder. He's dangerous. That's him. Go down the alley. I'll cut him off. Hey! Hey, come here, little monkey! Come here! Will you come on already? This is dumb. Be careful, he could have a gun, okay? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What? What? Let's set up a net. Go back up the alley so he thinks you're still in the chase. Kennedy, get your car, bring Halloui, and I'll try and contain him. All right, but this is a waste of time. We're on duty for another five hours. Come on, let's go. W-O-L, Ricky. I got bored. I took a little furlough. Furlough? It's not too smart, considering you got to go to court soon. Let's go, kid. Hey, it's my birthday. Twelve now. Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks a lot. Tell my mom I had a good time, huh? I just wanted you to stay away. Why couldn't you leave it at that? He was being transferred to a holding cell for trial. He knew just when to make his move. I thought you'd rather hear this lousy news from me personally. Yeah, well, I can see you guys have about as much control over him as I did. He's a bright kid. Yeah, well, if he's so bright, then why didn't he head for another state? Go to Mexico or something. He knows he's going to be convicted for shooting that boy. At his age, he's not going anywhere. This is his turf. Out of what is it? 6,000 cops in this city. Why you? It was no accident. He was looking for me. Why? You were the arresting officer in the shooting. You caught him as a fugitive. You're going to convict him in court. I'm also someone who's been more to you than just a cop. It was 
was his birthday today. Cassie, I see you hurting and I want to do something if I can. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so damn defensive about him. I'm always wondering if it's something I did, something I didn't do. But I know you haven't stopped caring. I know that hasn't happened. I'm his mother. It's so damn hard. Would you like to take a drive somewhere? Maybe the beach? No. No, thanks. I want to be alone. Thanks for the message. Thanks for understanding. Clean house and breakfast. It's your favorite? Kielbasa and scrambled eggs. Mmm, <laughs> real Polish kielbasa. What's the occasion? Like Walensa's birthday? <sighs> up, 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 up. Sit down. Sit down. Even the plants are watered, huh? Thank you. something, so why don't you just come out and ask me? All right, I'll play straight man. What is it you want, Robin? Birth control? Daddy, please, this isn't exactly easy for me. For you. Let me explain one thing. The clinic provides examinations and everything else at cost. Cost is not the issue. It is whenever I want something. Just because I'm going to check out the clinic doesn't mean I'm planning on doing anything about it. That's the first potentially good news I've heard. Somehow, though, I have a feeling a boy is involved. Well, there's this one guy. What's his name? Do I know him? Name Vank Shivering the Strong. Shut up, Kevin. OK, I'm out of here. I'm sorry. It was unfair. I apologize. Do you want to tell me his name? Philip, okay? Big deal. That's a start. So? So? Things can happen to girls my age. Not if you don't let them happen. Daddy, you're not really listening to me. I'm 15 years old. Sweetheart, in my eyes, you're 15 years young. I need a mother. She doesn't... Your mother would not sign a paper giving you permission to start messing around. I don't need anybody's permission to do that. Robin! Well, maybe you'd rather I got pregnant and come home asking for an abortion. You won't get pregnant unless you're doing what makes you pregnant. The boys can do it anytime they want to because they don't get pregnant. It's the old double standard and it's not fair. You should trust me. That doesn't make any sense. Dad, you're living in the dark ages. That may be. But I'll be cro magnon before I allow you to be promiscuous. Promiscuous? Darling, I... I only want to protect you. The clinic can do a better job. I don't want to hear another thing about this damn clinic, all right? Of course not. Because you're just another male chauvinist, anti-feminist, fascist pig father. You blew it, Dad. You really blew it. Don't get smug with me, Kevin. You're not the resident sex therapist in this house. No, Dad, you don't understand. She can go to the clinic whether you sign that or not. Come on, Kennedy, you know, you know what's going on, don't you? Yeah. You're working on the streets every mm -hmm. day, right? So you know these kids are making out from junior high school on. That's like Casey Stengel says. If the fans want to stay away from the ballpark, who's going to stop them? Whether they're doing it or not, it's still a problem. It's a we moral have... problem. You're damn right. Now, when I was a kid... Oh, history, Bumper, when you were a kid. That's ancient it history. It was easy then. Girls who did it before they got married... Or tramps, hmm? sluts. Bumper. And that's the way it should be. 
Here you go, Richard. <laughs> Bumford goes over the edge, but at least he's raised a family. That puts him a step ahead of you, Arno. Whatever you say, Kennedy. Just one of these days, you might make a quantum leap when your little daughter comes home bearing a bouncing, illegitimate grandchild. Watch your mouth! Peace, brother. Wouldn't want to stifle your discussion, boys, but we do have a few calls for detectives tonight, which is the reason we are in this office, I think. There's a dead body in Chinatown and your old friend, Mrs. Hockheim. Another intruder, let me guess. I'll take Chinatown. Mrs. Hockheim especially requested you. Perfect. Oh, I got it. I got it. That's why they call me Rick the Quick. Rick the Quick is going to get the car. That's it. Have a good night, old bean. when I knew he'd be back again. I was watching the Best of Carson show. Would you like some tea? No, oh, you should have seen it. <laughs> it was when the little spider monkey was on and he jumped up on the desk and he wet the sleeve on Johnny's brand new jacket. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's I'm okay. Sorry. Uh, I must have missed that one. Um, yeah. Would you please show me exactly where you saw this intruder? Who? Oh, oh, out here on the patio. Now, be careful. I got a lot of stuff around here. I've got to get it straightened up. Goodness, goodness, Ronnie. Right outside on my patio. Must have been a little difficult to see him through those blinds, huh? Mr. Kennedy, I closed the blinds after I saw him. Now, I'll show you. It's in the chrysanthemums. <coughs> now, there. Right down there, we see where they are. Hey, what are you guys doing? Get away from that car! Oh, police! Hey, it's my car! Stop! Stop, police officer! Stop! My flowers! Oh no! Oh, my flowers! My poor flowers! Mr. Kennedy, would you please get out of my flower bed? Please! It's my car. Okay, all right now. It is defense. Kennedy did take the keys when he when he spoke to Mrs. Hawkeye. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it wasn't a DHD vehicle, so why should he bother to lock the car? Yeah. Why should a detective in a neighborhood that is notorious for auto thefts follow simple departmental procedures? Why? <laughs> car thieves don't work after midnight, do they? Yes, they used to try my block, man. <laughs> the fact is that he got so hot for Mrs. Hawkeye. Ah, come here he comes, here he comes. All right, you guys. I surrender. I am an idiot. No, no, okay? no. It's a little more complicated than that. You see, if we submit a vehicle theft, we all look like idiots, and nobody wants to look like an idiot. So what I'm forced to do is to solve this little situation in-house. Fine by me. I'll take the assignment. Yeah, but if a detective can't follow simple procedures for locking his own car, how can a watch commander justify trusting him with the complicated procedures of finding the car? Uh, hmm? Coach? Yeah. Why don't you let me take it, all right? I'll handle the case. <laughs> We're just trying to save your buns, Kenny. <laughs> okay, turn it over. Okay, great. Okay, it's turning. Good. Slide over. Um. You saved this thing? Just in case you had second thoughts. You think I ought to sign it? Look, all I know is that she practiced that speech at least a half a dozen times with me. Never heard her talk that way. Thought about sex, at least. Don't know how to handle it. <clears throat> what is this? I thought the school was on fire. Well, this 
is embarrassing. You were supposed to meet me right after school. I stopped a couple seconds to watch a track meet. Track? That's a new interest, isn't it? Not really. Philip? Partly. Uh, guys, can we go? The smog station's kind of making me nervous. I want to let you two know that I stopped by the infamous clinic today. For the search warrants? What happened? I listened to what they had to say about the responsibility of parents and teenagers to each other in this kind of situation. And I have to admit that they were very persuasive. Does that mean you're going to sign? It means I'm considering all sides. It means before I commit myself, I'd like to meet this young boy. No way! Forget it. I'm not going to put my boyfriends through police interrogation. I mean, next they'll be wanting their medical records. Uh, Robin, I only want to talk to this boy. His name is Philip. All right, Philip. I only want to talk to him. Is that an unreasonable request? It's not a request. It's an insult. You never meant to sign that paper. Please. Philip's going to be at the house next Friday to pick up Robin for the big concert. Well, that's a possibility, no isn't it? No way. Philip is not coming to the house. I'll make other plans. I'll meet Don't him Don't get hard-nosed with me, young lady. He'll pick you up at the house, or he won't be going out with you that night or any other night. Understand? All right. Don't sign it. See if I care. But if something happens, and it really could, I have to pay the consequences. It's nobody's business but mine anyway. I'll walk home. Thank you. Look at the dates and places. Every other hit has been in the downtown area. Here, here, and the market where we were last night. Look at the other dates, east and west of the harbor, south of 101. In, out, east, west, south. The open spot is right here, north of the 101, around Vermont or Hoover. Not bad. At least he hasn't lost the key to his brain. <laughs> uh, OK, guys, I want you to cover the markets from 11.30 to 1.30. OK, a guy that tall with that kind of aroma shouldn't be too hard for you hound dogs to sniff out, huh? Let's move it. Thank you. Good work, Wes. Bingo. Hey, Kennedy, can I talk to you for a minute, man to man? Sure. This little girl of yours, you worried? Robin, of course. Well, let me tell you. If she starts talking this sex talk, it's not her talking. Understand? No. It's the boy. It's... Girls don't think like us. I have four sisters, so I know. Girls don't think about sex. Only boys. Right. I even think about it myself sometimes. I think about it a lot. See? So how does this help me? Do like my father used to do. A little rabbit punch, an elbow in the gut. You let him know. Don't come back, man. He's not around your daughter. She don't think about sex anymore, right? Thanks, Garcia. That's great. Hey, we're in this together. Uh, what, what is this? <clears throat> oh, yeah, Mrs. Hawkheim came by. She said that she saw those guys who stole your car. She drew a picture the way she remembers them. Pretty good, huh? Terrific. The charge, attempted murder. While the age of the accused has been carefully considered by the court, there are 17 misdemeanor offenses on the record of this defendant. There is also a record of voluntary placement, which ultimately has not been successful. The Department of Mental Health has declared the defendant not amenable to conventional therapy. From the available records, it does not appear that at any time the defendant has shown a genuine desire for rehabilitation. In every instance, despite professional counseling and therapy, the defendant has violated the placement by running away from the assigned facility. Therefore, Ricky Priester, I find you guilty as charged. Sentence within a local state juvenile facility to be pronounced within 10 days. I don't feel anything. I'm numb. 
Why the delay? Why couldn't they get it all over with at once? The procedure, the judge, the attorneys, all the people from juvie get together on an appropriate sentence. Therefore, Ricky Priester, I find you guilty as charged. I never did know how to punish him or reward him. He just keeps getting in deeper and deeper. Can I say something you might not want to hear? Is it possible this is what Ricky wants? Jail? Someone watching over him 24 hours a day? Maybe inside, he's so out of control, so scared of everything, he wants to be protected from his worst enemy, himself. God, Kennedy, what am I doing here with you? You testify and Ricky goes to jail. And yet, for some reason, I'm listening to what you have to say. It doesn't make any sense at all, does it? And the biggest irony is that you're probably the only one in this godforsaken mess who remotely understands. No, I'm not so sure about that. But I'll tell you one thing. You need to relax. <laughs> relax? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Why not? Well, look at me. I am. I wouldn't know how. How about that drive to the beach? Isä, miksi kesällä on niin vihreitä? No, silloin kasvit kasvavat ja keräävät voimia talveksi. Kasvien viherhiukkaset ottavat ilmasta hiilidioksidia ja maasta vettä aurinkovalon voimalla. Sitä kutsutaan yhteyttämiseksi, eli fotosynteesiksi. Syntyy sokereita ja happea, jotka ovat kaiken elämän ja kasvun perusta maapalloa. Kasvaako puutkin niin? Kyllä, kyllä. Sokeri on aina mukana, kun puut ja kasvit veden ja ravinteiden avulla kasvavat. Kaikkia sokeria kasvit eivät tarvitse itse. Osa varastoituu eläinten ja ihmisten käyttöön. Osan sokerista me nautimme vihanneksissa, marjoissa ja hedelmissä. Ja osan näin kiteisenä. Tämä on samaa sokeria kuin kasveissa on luonnostaan. Oikeassa sokerissa ei ole mitään lisäaineita, eikä sitä voida keinotekoisesti jäljitellä. Se on sokeria luonnosta. Regina, monipuolinen lukulehti sinulle. Regina, lehtipisteestä. Äänentoiston CD-luokkaa johtaa Aito Technics. Nyt uusi huippuluokan Technics CD-soitin 1995. Ja 400 levyt kaupan päälle. Eksperteiltä! Oma kuvastosi on jo postissa. Hobby Hall. Ei ihme, että niin moni tänäänkin nauttii Marabu maitosuklaana peistä. Marabu. Arvatkaas, mitä minä syön. Se on valmista heti. Se on ravitsevaa ja herkullista. Se vain kuumenta, kevyesti ja nopeasti mikroaaloilla. K-kaupat tarjoavat sitä mitä viettelevimmissä muodoissa. Tietenkin. Valloittavaa valmisruokaa. Nyt erikoistarjouksena saarioisen grillipihvit markka 60 kappale. Ja maksalaatikko 4,90 rasia. K-kaupassa. Syksyn parhaat tarjoukset kuponkiuutisista. Nyt kieliä oppimaan. Univerb-kielikasetit. Kuuntele, matki, opi. Käytä tilaisuus hyväksesi. Myös kirjakaupoista ja elloksesta.
Tietosanakirja parempana kuin koskaan ennen. Fakta 2001. Karavan Oden laatutuotteita järkevään hintaan. Täydellinen kalastusvälinesarja. Vain 199. Katso kuponkiuutiset. Tilaa luettelo. Tarkkaile postiasi. Mahtavat syystarjoukset. Kuponkiuutiset. Tavaratalo taskukoossa. reported uh, two cat burglars operating on the west side. You know about that. Okay, today we got an eyewitness who positively ID'd the vehicle. License plate number, ICD190, a Bronco. It's my car! <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, guys. I'm through with all this kindergarten. You're my car still missing, and I want a file on the burglars, all right? Hey, Kennedy, you haven't lost your sense of humor, have you? I guess not. All right, guys, let's uh, go for some light in the night, huh? Hey, Kennedy. Yeah, let me see. Fire. Uh, I want to get something off my chest here. Sure. It's about your daughter. Shoot. I'm a bastard. I never knew my father. My mother was 14 when I was born. And she died in the delivery room. That shouldn't happen to nobody. Ever.
He's going to be 18 before he gets out. He won't serve the full six? A year? Uh, two at most? And they still do not know where to put him. Isn't that incredible? And I have to meet with a judge and a counselor from juvenile hall again tomorrow. When is this going to stop? We need time. What about my time? They look at me the same way you did the first time. You are his mother. You are the one who is really responsible. Give up your life, Kathy Priester. Your son is in trouble. Like to take a walk? If he goes to jail, I go to jail, and I am not going to let that happen again. I say, Ricky, I have done my best. You can solve your own problems now. Tough love. Hey, Isn't that what hey. they call it? The cost is too high. You are on your own, Ricky Priester. I know you don't believe that. Do not tell me what I don't mean. You can put him away, but you still don't have any magic answers. I never said I had any. I am tired, Wes. I am so damn tired. Man, fateful Friday. <laughs> At least it's not Friday the 13th. Yeah, no, but it will be if you embarrass your sister in front of her boyfriend. Oh, God, I think I'll go lock myself in my room. That's not the worst idea you've ever had. Where's Robin? That boy's going to be here any moment. You no, know, real men never pick up their dates on time. <laughs> Dad, where do I put this? Kevin, do you know this Philip well? Well, yeah, everyone in school knows him. He's a senior and an athlete. Dad. <laughs> uh, Kevin, put that on the table. Introduce yourself, Daddy. I'll be right down. Oh, um, Dad, Philip, Philip, Dad. Mr. Kennedy? Uh, Philip, uh, come in. Robin should be right down. Or, oh. So she says. <laughs> and no believes that. We got a car in the garage. We'd like to sell. What's up, man? How you doing? Hi. You know my son, Kevin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, can I offer you uh, a soda? Uh, cola, lemon, lime? Sorry, nothing stronger. Oh, oh, uh, I'm. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll clean. No, I got it. No, I'll get it. Uh, Philip's got a 3.6 GPA, Dad. Um, Dean's list every semester, captain of the track hey, hey, team. Hey, cool, will ya? I need a press agent, I'll hire one. Impressive credentials. I'm very lucky, Mr. Kennedy. My uh, father was an all-Big Ten Rhodes Scholar, and my mother teaches at Berlitz. So, uh, genetically speaking, I've had a good start. Well, then, genetically speaking, I'd be a klutz. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, it, it, it must be tough out there. Uh, out where? Well, I mean, being a cop. I thought about being a cop, but I don't think I could cut it. Why not? Temper, maybe. I mean, when things don't go my way, you know, it's lights out. Yeah, I know how you feel. Really? Uh, first of all, you're a human being. You gotta remember that. Rotten things go down, and, uh... You wanna get even. But things don't really work that way. I mean, that's the hardest thing to learn. Getting even means you're just setting up somebody else to get even. As, a, as an adult, as a young adult, you uh, have to see all sides. That's a very interesting philosophy. You know, my dad has a... Hi. Hi. So, did you survive the third degree? Oh, no. It... Wasn't like that at all. Philip thinks Dad's a philosopher. A philosopher? My dad? <laughs> well, at least I'm not under arrest, am I, Mr. Kennedy? Uh, just for tonight, consider yourself under surveillance. <laughs> um, there's this party after the concert. Um, so don't worry, okay? Be home at a reasonable hour? Yeah. Just uh, try and beat Dad home from work. Before sunrise. Uh, we'll be home earlier than that, Mr. Kennedy. My parents worry, too. Lights out.
Why'd you come anyway? I wanted to talk to you. We never had a real conversation. That's because kids don't have conversations with grown-ups. I never heard that rule. My kids talk to me. Not like they talk to their friends. How about giving it a try anyway? Sure. Suppose they don't place you locally. It could happen. One place is the same as another. You won't be in any of those programs you were in before. Or you could take a furlough whenever you felt like splitting. I'll handle it. Nothing much to handle except boredom. Same routine, day after day, same guards, same dorms. I'll see my friends on visiting day. <laughs> you mean your mother. I've got lots of friends. You got a few street pals, maybe. But all they do is get you into trouble, and then they check out, right? But they're around. The only person around is your mom. And she'd give up her life just to be with her little baby boy twice a month. She'll be there more than that. Twice a month for two hours. That's what you're giving her to live for. Think you could ever care enough for anybody else to go all the way like she has for you? My mom don't have to do nothing. She has, and she will. Nobody's gonna stop me from killing myself. Oh, that'll solve everything, right? Well, that's what you're telling me. You'd be killing her, too. Would not. Of course you would. She'd spend the rest of her life wondering why it is you wanted to hurt her, or get even with her, or whatever the reason is that makes you do what you do. Look, I don't have a reason. Even if I did, I don't care what it is. Well, you better start caring, and it is time to stop being such a selfish, reckless little coward and grow up. I hate you! I hate you! Uh, no, I'm not. They passed me through. This is about Robin. It's too early. I know, Kev. I know it's too early to start worrying. So when do these concerts let out anyway? What? Uh, hang on, Kev. Hang on for a minute. Kev, I gotta call you back. This is one King Two. Go over to Simplex Four, please. Repeat transmission. Yeah, Kennedy. I got your Bronco here on Elysian Park. Well, she made a turn. He's on the Bronco. I'm on him. Roger. Stay with him, over. Uh, uh. Great. Come on, don't fail me now, baby.
two wet racks. We tried to lighten up, but it's still cooled off. All right, team two. Time to drip dry. <laughs> yes, Kevin, it's me again. I know it's late, but I, I, I'm worried about Robin. Did you hear her come in? Uh, uh, no. Would you check her room for me? All right. I'll wait. What are you doing? Huh? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm calling to see if my daughter's home yet, and I'm trying to get my car out of the lake. She's not? Damn. I know you have basketball practice in the morning. I'm sorry. I won't call again. The vehicle's impounded indefinitely. What? It was used as commission of a crime. Maybe two crimes. I don't believe it. Not all bad news, Kennedy. You might want to know that while you're out there chasing your own tail, one detective had the good sense to uh, continue his stakeout and has single-handedly apprehended Mr. Garland. Arno. You got it. Good for him. I don't believe it. Sorry about last night. Oh, uh, it's okay. I was so sure you were gonna call again. I couldn't get back to sleep. That'll be the day. What time she finally get home? I don't know. I was asleep. She was up early though. She was. Mm -hmm. Surprised me too. Um, what are you gonna do about this? You're just like me, kid. You never give up. What a great night. What a great concert. What a great party. And it was so great, it, I don't even believe I was there. Good morning, Dad. Not logical, but it makes sense. Did Cinderella come right home afterwards? Well, practically. We stopped at the beach for a little while. Oh, come on, Dad. You met Philip. I mean, you know, he's so... Great. Right. Uh, when do you see him again? Oh, after last night, I'm sure he'll call. I mean, we really... Uh, Robin, I don't want to hear the details. Oh, come on, Dad. Who are you trying to kid? I'm not trying to kid. You're saying there's things you don't want to know? Uh, right. There are some personal things about our lives I don't believe we should have to share with each other. That includes this paper. I don't know what the rules are, Robin. Maybe we have to make them up as we go along. I want to talk about this paper. Fair enough. But talk doesn't guarantee approval. So you're saying there's no guarantee either way? I guess not. But I do want to apologize for using the word promiscuous. You didn't deserve that, and I'm sorry. It's okay. I accept your apology. Just know... I do trust you. I know you have good sense and a lot of solid values. But I got to give it to you straight. You're too young. You're not going to sign? I can't, sweetheart. I just can't. Double standard wins again. All right, if that's what it is, I can't overcome it in myself. But won't you just accept that I don't think you're ready? When will I be ready? You won't have to ask that question. You'll know in your heart and soul. That's what I needed to talk to you about. I needed to know how you really thought, because at the clinic, I didn't feel so good about myself. I didn't trust my own feelings. They can get in the way, can't they? Talk to me anytime, all right? Yeah. If we're really going to be honest, I guess I should tell you about last night at the beach with Philip. <clears throat> Don't tell us. He's a lousy kisser. He is not.
You went to see him? Yeah. Thanks. You're sending him up to Crest Haven? Yeah, it's at the Nevada border, I know. It's a good facility. School, job training and therapy. Where he can't run away. Will it work? That's up to him now. Will you be there? I'm leaving next week. Maybe the both of us will get a fresh start. Call me if you need me. Kiitos seurastanne tänään. Huomenna tavataan kello 19.30 Resiinralli Riehassa. Hyvää yötä.